So you just saw the new Discord feature called Dropdown. You want to have it for your own Discord bar, right? Very well then. Just go ahead and follow up to the end of today's video and you will have yourself a customized and own made dropdown for your Discord bar. By the way, the source code is in the description down below in case you need it. So first things first, we need to install the dependencies for our bots. The first thing we need to do is basically open a new terminal on my VS Code. And then I'm going to go ahead and go here. As you can see, there is a package called Negis. The other one is Discord button. These are the two independencies we need for our drop down menu to work. So the first one is going to be Nuggies. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it inside of my Discord bot. I already installed it, so it's not going to take long. Next, you need to install Discord buttons. Copy this from the NPM website. By the way, these links are in the description down below. You can click on it if you want to. And then there we go. So you can install Discord buttons. Done. You install the dependencies. Now we need to also require this dependencies so it will work. So the first thing you need to do is basically doing const Nuggies equal to require Nuggies and then done. You require Nuggies without any problems. Now the next thing you need to do is basically requiring Discord buttons. So we need to do require Discord buttons and then once we require it in here, you need to put the client de declaration. So my declaration for client is const client. If it's const bot for you, then replace the client in here with bot. Then go on and save it. Now we need to create the event for our dropdown. Find that on, click menu, which already shows it here. So click on that. Then we need to go on and do menu. However, though, we forgot this. So we're going to put this. Then we need to do this. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay, I did it wrong. There we go. And there we go. We created our event without any problems. Now we need to go on and put one line of code in here. I guess the drop quick, drop click and then client, then menu. Done. So we finished our index such as stuff. Now we need to actually make the command. We got everything required here. Everything should be working without any problems here as well. So now we need to go on and make a new command. So I have a command handler, so I'm gonna use my command handler for that. I'm gonna make my command, uh, let's name it, uh, I don't know, dropdown. I'm gonna call it dp, the drop dd, which just stands for dropdown. And js, the js. So then I'm gonna take a template from my other command so I can use my command handler. So in here, we need to also require nuggies as again. So I'm going to copy this as we required it in here. And I'm going to paste it on top of my event handler or whatever. Um, so and then I need to do what I need to do in here is basically making a constructor for every single one of my drop down buttons. And there's already an example for that. If we go on top instead of here, there is something called drop down rules, right? Click on that. And I'm going to refresh my page because yeah, there we go. Drop down. So there, there, there is this constructor you need to use for every single one of the options uh, that is inside of the drop down. We need to copy this and then paste it inside of our code. I'm gonna also format my code. There we go. Now we need to basically change this to, for example, like option, like options maybe. You can, you can choose whatever you want. I don't really care. And as you can see, we have the label for our basically a drop down option. Uh, so I'm gonna put this as like, for example, XD, whatever. And then the rule ID. So this drop down has to be working like a rule ID, right? So whenever you click on a drop down, it will give you a rule. And whenever you click on it again, it will remove the rule for you, right? So you need to go on and copy the rule ID that you have on my Discord server. I have a few rules. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy like PC rule, whatever. I'm gonna paste it inside of my rule and the emoji. So the emojis will basically work with like default windows emojis like this like this or like this i don't know whatever these will work but you have to put only one emoji and uh, they shouldn't be like discord style so they have to be like this or you can put the emoji id for the server so for example if i have an id uh, and the bot has to be in it as well so for example in my test server i have an emoji like this you see this here i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i paste it after and as you can see i can get the id for the emoji i'm gonna copy the id and i'm gonna paste it here so plus that now, if you want to add a secondary option to this, uh, you need to go on and again, copy this whole thing from starting from here, starting from a dot till here, and then paste it. There we go. This is the second option that we have. The label is going to be, uh, I don't know, whatever, mobile, I think. Uh, whatever, it's just a label name. And then we get a role here. We need to put a role ID again. I'm gonna go my Discord server, server, and then the roles. The roles mobile, like mobile, copy ID, and I'm gonna paste the role ID here. So then you need to put an emoji, right? So the emoji that you have to put for this, again, it's, it can be the same thing. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use like a default emoji this time from Windows. I'm gonna put on, now this is kind of weird. I'm gonna put this one actually, cause why not? 
Uh, or like it's mobile emoji. I'm gonna actually search for a mobile emoji if there's anything. There we go, there is one. So I'm gonna paste this. There we go, the mobile emoji. Done. So these are the options. If you want a third option, you can do the same again. You can copy this. I'm gonna paste it after this and it will be third option. So plus that. Now you need to actually send this uh, instead of the channel you are, right? With the music command. So there is the create one, the create drop time rules. We're gonna copy this again and we are going to paste it in here. I'm gonna also format the document. There we go. So in here, this has to be, look, if the message, the message has to be the same. Uh, I have to put message in here. And then the rule, rule has to be um, literally like, the rule in here has to be this options. So you're gonna copy this construct that we have. And then the content, this is how your embed is gonna look like. So your message embed is the subtitle. The title has to be, uh, click to get rule. And the description has to be LMAO, whatever. And you can put a color as well if you want to. Set color, blue maybe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you need to send this as well. So for sending it, it's, it's just really easy actually. You have to put that just like channel ID. And also I need to put this because I need to put a new option. Channel ID, it's gonna be message at author, the channel that ID. Or we don't need the author actually, we just need to ch do message the channel ID. Oops, I forgot to set the command name. The command name has to be dd. Discord is not defined. I'm really sorry. I don't know why I'm being stupid right now. Const discord is equal to require discord. Oops, discord.js. I forgot to require discord. No dot. Now we do dd. And there we go. Drop down works without any problems. If I click on this, it shows the first option or the first uh, drop down option. And the second option as well, if I click on this, it's gonna say I have added the PC rule to you. If I check, I have the PC rule. If I click on the mobile now, it says I added mobile rule to you. And if I check, as you can see, I have the mobile rule and voila, that's pretty much it. And then if I click on it again, it's gonna say I removed the PC rule from you. And if I click on this again, it's gonna say I have removed the mobile rule from you. So plus that. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope it helped you guys. If you have any questions or problems, go ahead and comment them down below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. It will help me to make more videos and uh, it will basically recommend it to other people as well. So they will basically watch this video as well. Share this video to your friends. They will probably like it as well. If they, I mean, if, if they're into Discord, they're just obviously, if they know how to code, share it with them. And uh, go ahead and like the video as well. And join your Discord server. It will help a lot of people over there. People love uh, getting supports easier. So we made the Discord server for you guys. So it will be able to join there and we hope a lot easier and faster over there since we can ask you for source code and stuff and we can identify your problems much 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 further and easier as well thank you guys for watching this video this is dashcraft and i am out love you guys bye bye